ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली सेकेंड जून स्वीट लेटर ऑफ पाप दादा फॉर स्वीट सीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एवरी थिंग द ट्रू फादर टेल्स यू इज ट्रू स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एवरी थिंग द ट्रू फादर टेल्स यू इज ट्रू रिमेन ट्रूथफुल टू सच अ ट्रू फादर लेट देयर बी नो फॉल्सुड और चीटिंग इन यू लेट देयर बी नो फॉल्सुड और चीटिंग इन यू क्वेश्चन वट कंट्रास्ट डू यू चिल्ड्रन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली एट द कॉन्फ्रेंस वट कंट्रास्ट डू यू चिल्ड्रन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली एट द कॉन्फ्रेंस आंसर वट ब्राह्मण्स डू एंड वट शूद्राज डू वट द पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज इज एंड वट द पाथ ऑफ डिवोशन इज वट द बैटल फील्ड ऑफ अ फिजिकल आर्मी इज एंड वट यूर बैटल फील्ड इज ओनली यू चिल्ड्रन अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दीज कंट्रास्ट नो वन एल्स अंडरस्टैंड्स द कंट्रास्ट बिटवीन द गोल्डन एज एंड द आयरन एज सॉन्ग मदर ओ मदर यू आर द बेस्ट वेयर ऑफ फॉर्चून फॉर ऑल ओम शांति दिस इज द प्रेज ऑफ द मदर्स ऑफ भारत देर इज द प्रेज ऑफ द सुप्रीम फादर द सुप्रीम सोल शिवा द प्रेज ऑफ ओनली वन मदर इज नॉट इनफ जस्ट वन मदर कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग डेफिनेटली अ होल आर्मी इज नीडिड हाउ कैन एनी थिंग हैपन विदाउट अ होल आर्मी ऑफ दैम शिव बाबा इज ओनली वन इफ इट वर नॉट फॉर द वन देर कुड नॉट बी द मदर्स there could not be the children and so there would not be any brahma kumars or kumaris the majority of mothers this is why the mothers are praised the mothers of bharat the ones who are the incognito shiv shakti army are non violent as well they don't commit any type of violence there are two types of violence one is to use the sword of lust and other is the physical violence such as shooting getting angry killing etc at this time all physical armies commit both types of violence nowadays the even teach women how to use guns etc those mother are of physical army whereas these mother are of the divine community of the spiritual army they learn how to drill at sector you perhaps should never have gone on to a battlefield they make a lot of effort they even indulge in the vice of lust there are scarcely any women there who don't get married there are scarcely any women there would there who don't get married they learn a great deal in that military even young children are taught that is an army and this too is an army a great many details of the armies have been written in the gita however only you know what happens in reality how incognito you are what the shiv shakti army does and how you become the masters of the world that is called the place of battle your battlefield is incognito this stage is called the battlefield previously women did not go on to a battlefield it can be compared to everything here there are women in both armies but the majority there is of men whereas the majority here is of women there is the there is this contrast this difference between the path of knowledge and the path of devotion is the last contrast there is nothing of contrast in the golden age baba comes and shows the contrast between that which brahmans do 
and that which shudras do both are here on the battlefield it is not a question of it being in golden age or the iron age this is a question of the confluence age you pandavas belong to the confluence age whereas the kauravas belong to the iron age they have shown the duration of the iron age to be very long for this reason they don't know about the confluence age gradually they will come to understand this knowledge through you so it is not only the praise of the one mother this is the shakti army one god is the highest on high and you are the same army of a cycle ego it is your task to change this bharat into the kingdom of divine rulers you understand you first belong to the sun dynasty then you belong to the moon dynasty and then the merchant dynasty however only those who belong to the sun dynasty are praised you are making such effort that you will first go into the sun dynasty heaven the golden age is called heaven the silver age is not called true heaven they even say so and so become a resident of heaven they don't say that a person has gone into the silver age the kingdom of rama and sita no the people of bharat know that the kingdom of shri krishna was in paradise and yet they have taken shri krishna into the copper age human beings don't know what the truth is they have not found the sat guru who tells them the truth you have found one who tells you everything true and makes you truthful he tells you children children don't ever tell lies or cheat nothing of yours will remain hidden whatever type of action someone performs so will be the result the father teaches you good actions no one's sins can remain hidden from god and the suffering of karma can be very severe even though this is your last birth you will have to experience punishment because the karmic accounts of many births have to be settled baba has explained how they sacrifice themselves at kashi until life leaves some one bodies and the soul takes his next birth he has to suffer a lot of pain has to be tolerated one type of suffering of karma for sinful action is that of sickness etc and the other is that of punishment the soul cannot say anything at the time but cries out in distress sinful souls experience punishment here as well as there in the golden age there is no sin there is no court for magistrate nor is there any punishment in the jail of worm there a worm is like a palace krishna has been shown floating on a paper leaf in the ocean sucking his thumb that refers to the place of a worm children are born in great comfort in the golden age from the beginning through the middle to its end there is nothing but happiness there is nothing but happiness in this world there is nothing but sorrow from the beginning through the middle till the end you are now studying in order to go to the world of happiness this incognito army will continue to grow however many you show the path to show you accordingly so you will accordingly claim a high status effort has to be made for remembrance the unlimited inheritance you had received has been lost and you are receiving it once again both lokik and parlokik fathers are remembered at present in the golden age only lokik fathers are remembered it is not necessary to remember the parloki father because there is nothing but happiness there this knowledge is for the people of bharat it is not for those of other religions no however those who converted to other religion will emerge they will come and study yoga 
यू आर इन्वाइटेड टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट योगा एंड सो यू शुड प्रिपेयर यूर सेल्फ एक्सप्लेन टू देम हैव यू फॉर गेटन द एशियंट योगा ऑफ भारत गॉड से इज मन मना भव गॉड से इज मन मना भव द सुप्रीम फादर द सुप्रीम सोल से इज टू द इन कॉर्पोरियल चिल्ड्रन रिमेंबर मी एंड यू विल कम टू मी यू सोल्स लिसन थ्रो दोज ऑर्गन्स आई द सोल स्पीक विद द स्पोर्ट ऑफ दीज ऑर्गन्स आई एम द फादर ऑफ ऑल एवरी वन सिंग्स माई प्रेज द आल माइटी अथॉरिटी द ओशन ऑफ नॉलेज द ओशन ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एट्सेट्रा टॉपिक्स सच एज दीज आर वेरी गुड वट इज द प्रेज ऑफ शिवा द सुप्रीम सोल एंड द वट इज द प्रेज ऑफ कृष्णा नाउ जज फॉर यूर सेल्फ Who is the sermonizer of the Gita? This is a very powerful topic. You have to explain this. Tell them you will not take too much time. Even if they give you one minute, that is sufficient. God says, "Man mana bhav, remember me alone. You will receive the inheritance of heaven." Who said this? Thine corporeal supreme soul said this to Brahman children through the body of Brahma. They are also known as the Pandava army. You are the guides to take people on a spiritual pilgrimage. Baba gives such essays. Baba gives such essays. You children should think about how to explain these matters in a refined way. Only by remembering the Father will you receive the inheritance of liberation and liberation in life. We are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. In fact, you are also this, but you have not recognized the Father. In fact, you are also this, but you have not recognized the Father. You children are being made into deities by the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Only in Bharat was there the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. Even if young children were to explain in a loud, loud voice in large gathering, there would be so much influence. They would realize only you have knowledge that only you show the path to God. The incorporeal supreme soul says, "O oh souls, remember me, and your sins will be absolved." while bathing in the gangas and going on pilgrimages etc for birth after birth you have continued to become more impure it is bharat that goes through the stages of ascent and descent the father teaches raj yoga and brings about the stage of ascent that is he makes you into the masters of heaven then maya ravan makes you into the masters of hell so that is the stage of descent birth after birth there is a stage of gradual descent knowledge is the stage of ascent devotion is the stage of descent they even say that one find gods from doing devotion so surely god gives knowledge so surely god gives knowledge he alone is the ocean of knowledge When the Satguru gives the ornament of knowledge, the darkness of ignorance is dispelled. The darkness of ignorance is dispelled. The One Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is the Satguru. The Satguru and not other gurus is praised. There are countless gurus, but only one Satguru. He alone is the bestower of salvation, the purifier, and the liberator. You children are now listening to the versions of God by constantly remembering the one you souls will go to the land of peace that is the land of peace the other is the land of happiness and this is the land of sorrow do they not even understand this much only the father comes and purifies the impure world you understand that it is unlimited father who gives unlimited happiness Ravan gives you unlimited sorrow. He is the highest enemy. No one knows why the kingdom of Ravan is known as an impure kingdom. 
the father has now explained the significance of all this the five vices are present in everyone which is why the images of ravan with 10 heads are created the father has now explained from when and for how long the kingdom of rama god continues he explains this unlimited history and geography ravan is the unlimited enemy of bharat he has brought about so much misery people have forgotten that bharat was heaven people has forgotten the bharat was heaven you children now receive shrimat from the father children remember the father alf and b the supreme father the supreme soul establishes heaven and then ravan establishes hell you only have to remember the father who establishes heaven remain in your households go to wedding etc but when you have time remember the father while performing actions for your livelihood remember the one to whom you are engaged until you go to his home continue to perform actions but don't allow your intellects to forget the father continue to perform actions but don't allow your intellects to forget the father acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first in order to become free from punishment settle all your accounts don't hide anything from the true father renounce telling lies and cheating renounce telling lies and cheating stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance second just as the father brings benefit to even those who harm you in the same way bring benefit to everyone just as the father brings benefit to even those who harm you in the same way bring benefit to everyone give everyone the father's true introduction give everyone the father's true introduction today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you make your godly sanskars fruitful by using them and become embodiments of success may you make your godly sanskars fruitful by using them and become embodiments of success the baba is saying the children who use their godly sanskars in the task finish their wish thoughts at automatically the children who use their godly sanskars in the task finish their wish thoughts automatically to make something fruitful means to save it or increase it it should not be that you continue to use your old sanskars and keep your godly sanskars in the locker of your intellect many of you have the habit of keeping good things in your cupboards and you money in banks many of you have the habits of keeping good things in your cupboards and you money in banks they have love for old things and continue to use them all the time don't do that here don't do that here here you have to make everything worthwhile with your thoughts words and powerful attitudes and you will then become an embodiment of success here you have to make everything worthwhile with your thoughts words and powerful attitude and you will then become an embodiment of success slogan the father and i when you have this canopy of protection with you no obstacle can stay in front of you the father and i 
when you have this canopy of protection with you no obstacle can stay in front of you om shanti thank you baba